All right, so here we go with a great bluegrass number. This is a Bill Monroe tune. Uh, this is called Old Dangerfield. Key of A. All right, so here's uh, Old Dangerfield. Uh, this is a great Bill Monroe tune. Um, I, you know, I did a little research on this. I, I don't know that there's a great original recording of Bill playing this tune. Um, there's probably a bootleg and probably some live performances, uh, but there are some great musicians who have taken a stab at this, and it's definitely gained popularity uh, in the last few years. Um, there's, there's a couple of, if you just pop out on YouTube, you can see some folks playing this tune. Um, and I personally think it's a great tune. It's, it's, it's in A major, but it has some modal feel to it. Uh, there's some minor notes that you throw in, and it's very bluesy. Um, and it's an interesting, it took me a while to pick up the first part. It's, it's, it's weird how it comes in on the one. Uh, so we'll talk about that. It's a three-part tune. Many people repeat the third part every time they play it. Um, and I chose not to. Um, the other thing I should say is that uh, I stole some licks from Shane Cook. Uh, Shane, I heard a version of him playing this tune, and he just rips it up. Yeah, I mean, he, Shane's just such a great player. Uh, I really enjoyed his version of the tune, and um, in the advanced lesson, I'll show you what licks that I stole from, from Shane, uh, but I wanted to give him his due there. Um, so anyhow, let's go ahead and get started. Uh, key of A major, but don't let that throw you off because we're going to play some, some notes that are definitely out of that scale. Um, the first part is a series of phrases. There's four phrases they just repeat, and it's the same phrase pretty much every time um, with a few minor variations. Um, so first off, let's think about how we get into this tune. Um, I would consider this an advanced level tune because you're going to use your fourth finger a lot. Um, and there's just really no way to get around that. Uh, and so thinking about getting in, the A note is the downbeat. So if I were to just count it in without the, the third finger on your, G, on your D string, um, that would sound like one, two, three, four. Okay, but the way that I have heard people play it is you come in from a G note and you're hitting the A before the one. Okay, so those notes are <clears throat> G, open A. Now, so you're using a th uh, 
regular third finger, a C natural note on your G string. So counting that in, one, two, three, four. Okay? It happens really quickly up to speed, but that's really where I hear the melody happening. Two, three, four. Okay. Now we have this, um, this note that pushes on the C. Okay, and you can do that without the double stop. So you're going to a C natural and then sliding up to a C sharp. All right, so here we are with the advanced tutorial for the great Bill Monroe tune called Old Dangerfield. Um, as I mentioned in the basic melody, I've definitely stolen some of these licks from Shane Cook, uh, who's playing I very much admire. He's a great, uh, a great player. Um, and so I'll, I'll call out where I am playing some things that I, I heard his performance of. Um, but there's a lot we can do with this tune. Um, I taught you just a bare bones version in the basic melody tutorial. Uh, let's go ahead and spice it up. Okay, so let's go ahead and get into this first part. Um, there's a lot of different variations we can use at the end of each of these phrases that repeat four times. Um, I will tell you that the fourth time through, I almost always will use a triplet lick. Um, and that's one of those licks that I stole from Shane. So here we go. I'll play it through once and uh, maybe, well, I'll play it the repeat through a couple of times and uh, show you what I'm doing differently here. <laughs> So, um, first off, I'm keeping that open A running uh, right there. And then I'm making sure to catch a double stop here. Okay, again, double stop. Right there, I'm fingering the D string and open A. Okay, we well, looked at that lick. Um, I'm just adding double stops in this time. And then, <clears throat> the second time I played it, I did an octave. So that's your first finger on your G string, and you hammer on into your fourth finger onto your uh, D string. And then I did... So three, one... Would be another alternative. <laughs> 